Hello! Good morning, afternoon, evening, everyone! Konyaku all! And yeah, you can see that I am jumping around in here. We'll start on this one. This uh, continuing this chapter. Sauce Bell, Skill Sim. Yep, and uh, new equipment. So yeah, I hope uh, everything is okay, audio etc is okay, and we can continue this. Hello, hi, welcome. Okay, let's start this. Yeah, refresh is good. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go to the school. Ah, that's good. Thank you, Sola. Good afternoon, and Konyaku. Hey, hey. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Graha. Because you sneak up into the forbidden section as usual. Hi Alfie. Konyaku. Yep. That is the catchphrase from back then, from a long, long of time. I believe you are not in my stream from the start. <laughs> I always say that. You understand still enough. Okay. Yeah, it happens. Uh, hello, hi. How to select you? Hex. <laughs> uh, yeah, twist notification is like that. At least they clean up a lot of things on mobile now. Anyways, let's continue. Ah, uh, studium, studium, studium. Okay. I think it's not laggy today, so yeah. Hope it stays this way. the song is this <laughs> administrative office yeah Basically, the university. The legend of Alfinau Lefilio began. Yes.
there is a script exchange here. Interesting. Anyways. In family, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he spoke to me. He actually spoke to me. Okay. So you are some sort of an idol here, uh, Alfie. <laughs> okay then. Yeah. An event of apex shattering proportions is fast approach. I'm glad that people here believe readily, but it's <laughs> it's just <laughs> something. Uh, Aliapo? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe that's a uh, common name. <laughs> but I feel like I heard that name somewhere. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> the only thing I'm interested in cleaning is information of this color whereabouts. Mega Smith, okay. Not to mention alarmingly frequent accidents. Yes, I beg your pudding. <laughs> That's a, a, a really interesting word. <laughs> Ah, I see, I see. So for uh, crafting roll quest. Okay. Good. Yep, if you can hear streaming, you're on the right track. Basically. Frequently accident. Hmm, no one is seen here. Besides the level-headed student. Yeah? Auditorium? Okay then.
Hey, there is a uh, sightseeing. Let's see. Ah, ah, ah. Learner Smith. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. Hello, Monty Shane. <laughs> That's true. pray we have not caught you at an inopportune moment. We wanted to offer our thanks for your kind words in the forum. Well, I could hardly let that Inquisition go unchallenged. I've always believed that curiosity should be nurtured, not stifled. Thankfully, a majority of my colleagues agreed. A slender majority, I, but a majority nonetheless. Thankfully, yes, thankfully. Had the vote not gone our way, we would be having a very different conversation, if any at all. Though I'd like to think you would have not given up on our cause. I'm told you paid a visit to the Annex afterwards. Yes, that's right. I was hoping to speak with the grandchildren of my dearly departed friends, Gallif and Louis Soir. In a less doer setting, but it seems I just missed you. Yeah, we need to go to a dungeon and destroy tower and find the destroy the limb inside the tower. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I still can't believe how much you've grown. If only your grandsires could have seen the way you presented yourselves to the forum. Why, if fair brought a tear to my own eye. You must have the patience of a saint putting up with this lot and their antics. Never mind Matoya's prize student. <laughs> Matoya's prize student. It's <laughs> Tola. Luckily, I know a thing or two about managing unruly younglings. If you ever need advice, don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> unruly young. <sighs> yeah, those. <laughs> If I may, there is a rather more pressing matter we wish to discuss. What can you tell us of this duty that the Forum must fulfill? Nothing, I'm afraid. Like all humble servants of the Forum, I am sworn to secrecy. Sadly, yes. Or rather, I couldn't tell you if I tried. So there is a magic that compels you, anyway. Our duty is of the gravest <coughs> importance. Furthermore, if the particulars were made public, <coughs> it would incite widespread panic. Aye, uh, and we are the As public. Such, those entrusted with this duty have been bound by an enchantment, which prevents us from speaking of such matters without <laughs> the express permission. I'm okay. I'm okay. How is that even possible? It's been some time since I last gave a lecture. Please, take a seat. I'm okay, just getting the drinks a bit. Okay. <laughs> Look at the face of Alice. <laughs> she <coughs> is gleefully we shall begin happy. By reviewing the fundamentals of etherology. Also, the tables are very big. You can see that. The ether, which imbues us with life, can be categorized into three forms. Mm -hmm. Two are of the incorporeal sort, the soul and the memory. Can anyone tell me the third? Corporal either, maybe? The body? 
the physical one? Yes, very good. This is the form with which the layman is most familiar. Consumed by even the simplest of daily activities and replenished by the food and drink that sustain us, this form of ether is in constant flux. In contrast, the ether that comprises the soul is rarely subject to dramatic change. The same can be said for memory, as the two are intrinsically linked. Picture the soul as paper, and memories as words written upon it. Now, what would happen if that paper was doused with ink? The same type of ether as comprises the memories. It would blot out everything that was written. Precisely. We would be unable to recall the memories, and any activities that depend upon them would be hindered as well. Um... Why did this feel so familiar and can be applied to the... non... yeah, lock and key pretty much, but I was thinking about uh, how the sundered, the sundered lose their memory, the sundered action. For example, in fact, this exact phenomenon was observed on a vast scale not so long ago. And what might that have been? The seventh umbral calamity. The people of Eorzea vividly recall Bahamut breaking free of the lesser moon and raining hellfire down upon the realm. But no one could seem to remember the events that followed immediately afterwards. Yeah, because they are uh, rejoining. That is the rejoining part that time. Indeed. To this day, we have yet to determine whether it was an unintended consequence or a deliberate act. Interesting. So, it, it clicks. The enchantment which binds me and the rest of the forum is based on a similar principle. And yes, it is a contravention of the Charlene prohibition against the practice of memory manipulation. Only when the new member is inducted and told of our great duty are they subjected to the process. A necessary evil. You have my word that it would never be used to manipulate the populace. I should hope not. But can this enchantment be dispelled and your memories restored? If nine-tenths of our members give their approval, then the process may be reversed. Then, and only then, would we be able to speak freely to others of our sacred duty. That's a lot. Barring that, we must wait until we return to the ethereal sea. For there we will be purified, the blocks upon our souls washed clean. Hmm, interesting. And our memories drift apart and dissolve. Rather defeating the purpose, I suppose. But there are those memories that are indelibly etched upon our souls, some believe. What happens after that? <laughs> we are reduced to pure ether, coalesce with that of others, and create souls anew. Alternative schools of thought assert souls remain whole 
and return to the corporeal world, reborn into another form. Both theories have their proponents. Personally, I consider each equally probable. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, reincarnation is something. Well, I think that's enough education for today. Now that I've given you some food for thought, or rather, an entire banquet. <laughs> the ink. I would remind you that although I'm unable to assist you with certain matters, the resources at my disposal may still be of use to you. I'll arrange for you all to be given the run of phenomenon. Of course, as associate to our alumni and the students of Baldessian, this privilege is extended to you as well, my friend. Oh, and I suggest you speak with Key Aliapo. She's well known among the artisans of Charlian, and her network of contacts may prove useful in your search for knowledge. I wish you all the best in your pursuits, wheresoever they may take you. <laughs> Can you go out with a laugh? Ah, <laughs> oh, old man. <clears throat> hey, a lot of subquests. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Five two five. Oh, critical hit! Nice, I like that. Okay, so there is a lot of sub questions here, so let's take those. I'm lucky. Okay. Archaeology faculty. Astronomy faculty. Medicine faculty. Anthropology faculty. 
and etrology faculty. So basically, lor roll quests for this one. Okay. Yeah, I need to finish the roll quest on the previous one. <laughs> but yeah, we'll do later. Just unlock them. Anyways. I just checked the XP mount. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Sola. We'll drink later. Or we drink a bit of tea. As usual, looking for the mammoth. Okay. Lala Felin student. new clothing then <laughs> okay <laughs> mhm mm Okay. Yep, warrior of errands in the school. Okay, three. I think we can get uh, six more. <sighs> the creature from the wooden creek. Creature. Yes. Yep. The beaver. The enemy of the fey folk. More dangerous than you could imagine. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Because before this day becomes a catastrophe. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay then, either way, let's do the closest quest first. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> okay. Ah, student's rope. The new student's rope. Ah, interesting. That's a good one. But I doubt this is for battle. <laughs> okay, let's do the battle stance then. Where is my keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends on when I go close to the mic and far to the mic. Uh, okay, <laughs> so you want us to bring this crate? Okay then. I forgot where is the confluence. <laughs> ah, that. <laughs> I really forgot where is the confluence. <laughs> Yeah, that's confluence. <laughs> I think there's such ropes here from people here. Okay. But yeah, now I can I know how how good this week is. <laughs> I can try the distance and I can see how clear it is. keeping them for now <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay thank you a la felin student Now the next one. Okay, so basically you need us to destroy things. Okay then. Usual stuff. Oh. 
Ah, okay. <laughs> I've heard this word before, but never in that order. Interesting. Basically, another few points on how crystals are created. So maybe later we will get that glamour then. <laughs> maybe later. Thank you, Ring. Yeah, I like all the rings that you can give. Anyways, Popo to Salad is good too. Let's see what ring do I have. Lah, level 517 I believe there is one more quest Yeah, yeah this one Oh, no man From Gubal, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's a Gubal book, all right. Few knocks on the spine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we need to hit to those books.
Okay, the book is sleeping and we can get it. Okay, making a book slip <laughs> is really something. Even the quest title is booking books. That's something. Get mammoth. <laughs> okay then. A mammoth more striking. I'll finals mammoth. Okay. Another book. <laughs> the existence of this member uh, probably best keep secret from selected TV videos. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> ah, there is two. Okay. Okay, I will get that later. Ash covered envelope. Unassuming Mikote's color. Okay. Okay then, we need to send it to an unassuming Mikote score. Okay, got all the five books next. Mm, I believe two more, two more quests.
गुकिश्री का होता है There is this leather. Somewhere outside. to pro procure something as is all <laughs> okay then oh well No, they can pay anytime. <laughs> Hello, Beaver. Hello. You don't see any fairies here, so let's just get here. Company us. Okay then. Squeal, squeal, yes, squeal. Any skips <laughs> that we can have <laughs> with this creature? I don't think so. Ah. Uh. I saw that. I I I, I, rem I remember. I remember that. I I see that uh, yesterday. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to look up. <laughs> Definitely. We can pet them. As long as it's selected, we can pet them. Even the enemy. We can go using uh, New Game Plus and pet M itself. If we can, if we want to. <laughs> yep. As long as he is an NPC in NPC mode or enemy mode, we can pet him. Yep, so we can pet anyone. Yeah, <laughs> we can hold shift and hold shift and <laughs> but yeah, eh? There are already two. <laughs> oh no, this is beefer.
It will be very dangerous. Too many beavers are dangerous. <laughs> they can, they can. Sometimes they do that. So yeah. Yeah, this is the candle for you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but that's noble, so yeah. Yes, we collect the books. Jump off a cliff. <laughs> well... In the library, books bite you very bad. Those books are dangerous. Don't handle the books by its cover. With no great knowledge comes great responsibility. <laughs> yeah. The distractions are gone now. Let's continue our story. <laughs> Always worry of errands. Who else in here? Alice? Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> running on the other side of world for some rubbish. Yes, for your errands, definitely. Yep, Graha will know. Definitely. Or perhaps not. <laughs> After you found the way in down there, now in here you forgot where to do, where to go. Estinian. <sighs> Okay, let's continue the story. Yep, water. <laughs> Noises and water. <laughs> so, time for us to invade Ilsa Bird. Invade Garumar, Tetri. I guess. That's true. <laughs> okay then, Ralph. See you later. her later for this. Anyways, uh, Limsa, 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 Limsa. Let's see the leadership. Uh, ha, 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 ha. I forgot where to go. Uh, 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 on the top, yes. Or lower deck, <laughs> lower deck. <laughs> well, I forgot. I really forgot how Limsa works. Seriously. <laughs> Been too long. <laughs> That's true. And Limsa is far. I remembered Gridania more than Limsa.
Let's go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but we don't need to go to Limsa directly. Okay, so time to attack girl Lamar direct. Yeah, that's true. You got it, Merlin. Right. But <laughs> Yeah Suffice to say, in these regards, this or this. For the people of Garmal. Yep. Ah oh, yeah, so we are using the land bridge. Okay. So, yeah, let's go to Alamigo Quarter. Quite far.
<sighs> yep. I believe solo instance, right? <laughs> <laughs> Say I'm getting on the phone. <laughs> okay then. Hello, Mary. Like a galley cat swept up in a strong breeze. Probably. He will always be there when you need him. Probably. Yes. Yeah, cat. You're a cat. The best of the best. The world of light and well me. Ah, okay, yes. <laughs> Definitely. You're not coming with us. Yeah, we thought it should be Gaius. What seems like that? Ah, that's true. Yeah, and you don't want to be uh, an emperor anymore, <laughs> I believe. I don't tell me, please, to see the champion of Oyarizia set foot on Garlin soil. That's true. That's true. They don't and they, they don't know us yet. Hmm. Hmm. Okay then. So Maxima will join us. Yeah, you are reasonable. Yes. Huh. 
Oké okay dan. Uh -huh. Oké. Okay. A great worm. Ah. Oh. Ah, so Tiamat is on your place. That's good. <laughs> That's true. Okay, see. So, who will be our traveling companions in here? <laughs> yes. Something better, like uh, helping people find the cats or other things. Before that, let me see the new gear. Ah, got of aiming. Okay, uh, seems good. Let me glamour first. Using the usual thing. Six hours until the glaciers are ready. Wow. Okay, let's see how is the other people. And who will join us in here? Maybe we know them. By the twelve. That's a lot. Ah, nice. <laughs> Glad you could join us. I hope you don't mind, but we went ahead and started without you. As you can imagine. Our traveling companions were eager to become acquainted. <sighs> it is a rare thing indeed to see such a diverse and talented group of individuals assembled for a single purpose. <laughs> yeah, and I see Liz. We fight not only for the sake of Eorzea, but for the entire world, including the people of Garlemald. Much rides on the efforts of the Ilzebard contingent. Indeed, which is why I am glad to find myself in the company of many trusted colleagues, ah. yourselves included. Lucia. Lucia. I have come at the behest of Lord Emmerich, who has honored me with the role of Ishgard's representative. For the good of all nations, yep. not least my former homeland, I am determined to see this mission through to its end. We have a hard road ahead of us, but walk it we shall, together. We too welcome this opportunity to work together once more. I have faith that if there is a way to resolve this conflict, we will find it. Allow me to introduce you to the rest of our company. Definitely. Everyone! If I may have your attention. <sighs> Might I ask you to speak first?
if I must. I am Arun Senna, spokesman uh, for the Guardian delegation. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Here on behalf of my esteemed sister, the Elder Seedseer. He's back. <laughs> we shall provide support and protection to those in need during our time in Garlemon. To that end, I am joined by healers selected by the Conjurer's Guild. Ah, uh, nice. With the Order of the Twin Adder's Finest serving as our escort. Yep. Suppose I'd better say my piece. Ah, Seekar. Wait, I know you. <laughs> The name's Sicard, in case you've forgotten. Truth be told, I'd rather you had forgotten. Any road, the Admiral asked Captain yep. Hilfir to send his best, and for whatever reason, he picked it. I should know. <laughs> On the other place. Of course, if I'd refused, I'd be the laughing stock of the bloody executioners, and my reputation's taken enough of a key haul in as it is. But more importantly, like any pirate worth his salt, I know when you're staring down a storm, you got to trust in the commander of your ship. So if the Admiral wants us to go to Garlemald, not for plunder and glory, but a promise of peace in our time, then that's what we'll do. Since we all know how much the Empire loves its steel, we thought we'd bring along a few smiths to make the most of it. Give them a pile of scrap and they'll cobble together anything you fancy. Of course, just like the Bredanians, we got fighters of our own. We might have come with a more constructive purpose in mind. But we're more than capable of cracking skulls, believe you me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're certainly raring to go. But then again, so are we. The most dependable warriors of Uldar and Alamigo have assembled at the Sultana and General Eldin's behest. If Garlemald has truly fallen, then the whole place is likely to be crawling with Telophoroi. We'll need plenty of troops to clear and hold a path for others to follow. That's where we come in. Naturally, Marshal Tarapin and I will be leading from the front. It's been some time since I last saw you in your element on the battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> been a while. From what I've heard, you've become pretty fearsome yourself. Master Matoya, the avatar of destruction. <laughs> yep. Thank glad I know reaction. Oh, those faces. like these, I know we'll succeed, no matter what awaits us. And then we might finally get a chance to enjoy a good long rest. But until then, let's give it our all. As for Ishgard, we Temple Knights have come in force to uphold our nation's commitment to the peace and welfare of our allies. The bitter cold of Garlemald is a formidable enemy in of itself. Our experience fighting in ice and snow will prove invaluable in the days ahead. Accordingly, I have been designated commander of the Ilzabad contingent. I will do all in my power to provide you with the leadership and guidance you require. The four high houses, House Hylinart foremost among them, have arranged for a host of machinists to join us on our mission. Their knowledge of Imperial Magitech is sure to be a great boon. They will address any problems of a technical nature together with the smiths of Limpsa Lomitsa. There is another awaiting introduction. <laughs> uh, he Lord joined us. Yep, I, I saw him. Uh, yes, Emmanuel uh, de Fortin, at your service. Though, lest there be any misunderstanding, I should stress that I've not become a fearsome warrior while you were away. Rather, far from it, actually. My brother, in his infinite wisdom, decided this would be an excellent chance to make something of myself. Oh, and fight for world peace and all that. <laughs> all that. <laughs> Hi. But, should the opportunity arise for a spot of ballroom dancing, I will be your twinkle-toed gentleman of light. 
Yep. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are. May your graceful prancing lead the way to victory. <laughs> Huzzah! I cannot wait to regale on a roi with my tales of daring do. <laughs> yep. I believe that concludes introductions for the grand company of Aeors here. Now the Eastern Alliance. Our allies from the Eastern Alliance were due to arrive some time ago, but it would appear they have been delayed. Would that be the Shinobi of Dome? Actually, they've been tasked with relaying messages back and forth between the various Eastern nations. According to Lord Hien, however, an equally capable company of warriors has been sent in their stead. Out of my way, you preening fool! Ha! <sighs> okay! Okay. <laughs> nice. There's deep steps, warriors. <laughs> Forgive us for coming late. We are the delegates of the Eastern Alliance. Sirena, and you've brought company. Yep, you brought all. <laughs> for battle and blood we come, as the step is sorely lacking in both. No towers befoul our lands, so we marched on those of Doma, only to find them beyond our reach. But now our thirst for slaughter will be slaked. <laughs> no quarter to the enemy! <laughs> oh, sadly. Sadu Hatun, no. We go to make peace with the Iron Men, not war. Yeah, yeah. Warriors of the Steppe, <laughs> we've heard many tales of your bravery. We welcome you as allies. And these other ones you have brought are... Members of the Dalmascan resistance group, Lente's Tears. And the Bosnian resistance. Yep, Bosnia. Between Damascan. them, they have a wealth of experience in espionage, and are particularly adept at infiltrating Imperial facilities, which is fortuitous. Since Garlemald's domain is so vast that I could never hope to handle reconnaissance duties all by myself. Dalmasca, Bosia, Alamiga. All lands which have suffered the tyranny of the Empire. I would never presume to question your motives. Nevertheless, I must reiterate that our goal is to aid the victims of the Tilophoron, the common folk of Garlemald. And they are victims, make no mistake. Though I understand that many may struggle to see them as such. You're more right than you know. For every one of us that answered the call, there were a dozen that refused. Not only in Alamigo, but everywhere we went. And who could blame them? The Empire's always been the enemy. But after seeing what we've seen, Fighting and working against and with Guardians. There's no denying the simple truth. They're just people. No different from you or I. They've got their share of liars and murderers, but so do we. So do we all. For Dola, who once swore herself to Garlemald, has proven herself a trusted ally time and time again. Every Aeorzean here knows Sid Garland. The Imperial Defector, who shared with us countless technological wonders. Oh uh, yeah, where is it? <laughs> Maxima, who stands with us today, tried to reform Garlemald from within uh. and make peace with Joma. So you can believe me when I say that every fighter here understands and accepts that the Imperials are not monsters and are deserving of help. Or at least that they were able to put aside their feelings for the greater good. It won't be easy, but we're all determined to make this world a better place. What lingering concerns I may have had were clearly unwarranted. I agree with everything you said wholeheartedly. Then we are in accord. Now, let us review our strategy. 
To reach the Galian capital in northern Ilsebad, we must cross the central mountain range. Fortunately, Garland Ironworks can provide aerial transport, sparing us this most treacherous part of our journey. However, attempting to fly any closer to Garlemald would attract the attention of the Telophoroi. As they appear to have seized control of the majority of the Imperial military, we must assume that includes its fleet. In addition, Garlemald possesses devices that can interfere with airship navigation systems, further discouraging an airborne approach. Given the circumstances, the closest we dare deploy our contingent is an area between the range and the capital, the Magna Glacius. From there, we must travel the rest of the way on foot. We will also need to bring the airships with us to ensure we can withdraw with haste. Although much of the terrain will be blanketed in snow, we should be able to make use of local roads and shipping facilities. The vast ice field will afford us an unobstructed view of the surrounding area. On the other hand, it will also allow others to easily spot us, so it is imperative that we only make camp in positions where we can easily defend ourselves. And the airships, which must be kept safe at all costs. We cannot account for every possibility, so we must be prepared to think on our feet. We will be tested, sorely tested, I expect. But for our homes and for our people, and a people not our own but in need, we will succeed. Spare no effort in your preparations. Once we depart, there is no turning back. Oh, there is a lot of people here. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, that's true. That's good though. <sighs> oh, because that's why there is a new game plus. <laughs> yeah, Gwydal and Samson. <laughs> the bar you did. Yeah. Obviously. Ah, Sado and Magdai. Interesting. 
Yeah, this is the Dalmaskan one. We need to find a Finnish boys here yeah, for that. <laughs> I believe. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Magnai, yes. Yep, I haven't done scholar, so yeah, I know. <laughs> they will be there if we met them. I think it's all. Yeah, you're a sit here. Ah, there is a lot of people in here. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, if we only finish everything, we can talk to all people like the boss Chen one. I still need to finish those. <laughs> the other quest. <laughs> but yeah, let's continue. Oh, I'm out yet. Talismans or talisman. <laughs> yeah, do switch. <laughs> yes. Where they go to? That's good, though. They sent the card instead of the captain.
We can prepare and I see Sadu. Okay. <laughs> New clothing. <laughs> I got my armor and my lance. What more could I need? <sighs> Two views. Okay then, let's see the cutscene after. <laughs> Warm and toasty. Obviously, the tailor swore the scion. Tataru. Yes, you have your ways. You can be somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, new outfit for Tataru. to be in Sasha Ryan. Yes. Yeah, it was in the video. <laughs> because of so certain someone who shall remain nameless isn't in a position to transport your soul to another world. Okay, thank you, Nadaru. <laughs> North Sea code. That's cool, though. That's good. That's really a good code, honestly. Oh, Nadaru. <laughs> you do us a lot of favor. That's really a good code, honestly.
<laughs> yes. It is, and it can be died too. It's a good one. Thank you, Tataru. Let me fa uh, put it on the proper place. Reception. Okay, so that is the solo instance, right? So let me take a break a bit and let's continue this solo instance. I think it's a good time to get more drinks and take a break. Wait a bit, yeah. We'll be back in two, three, or four minutes, something like that. Okay.
Okay, I'm back here and I think time to do this solo quest. Okay. Thank you, hi. Several cutscenes will play in sequence. Okay, and battle. Okay then, let's go. At last, time for us to see the map. Ilsebad, divided in twain by a vast mountain range. Those who would traverse its jagged peaks face peril at every step. But why go by foot when one can simply fly? On the outskirts of the Imperial capital, in the frozen wastes of the Magna Glacius, The winds howl in icy protest, as if to warn against further trespass. Received word from Thancred's reconnaissance party. They have sighted a detachment of heavily armed Imperials. Survivors of the Civil War, perhaps. Perhaps, but there is more to it than that. Maxima reports that they are led by Vagilia, legatus of the Third Legion, which comprises the bulk of their number. Ah, another legion. Okay. However, they are also joined by several members of the First. From what I recall, the Third Legion fought for Nerva in the War of Succession following Varus's death. The First, on the other hand, were under the direct command of the Emperor and rejected Nerva's claim to the throne. These legions were enemies. Hmm. Indeed. In fact, our sources claim that it was a conflict between them that sparked the Civil War. Yet now, these former foes cooperate to defend a ruined Garlemald from invasion. Then it is all but certain they have been tempered. So, what's the plan? If me and my crew is out reaving, we charge straight in, no messing about. But that ain't what we're here for. Quite right. Soldiers or no, they are people of Garlemald very ones we have come to aid. Direct confrontation is unavoidable. Nevertheless, we must make every effort to limit casualties on both sides. Rather than kill them, I would remove them from the field. How so? Savage beatings, disarmament and imprisonment? Uh, you're too honest. Not impossible, but easier said than done in the heat of battle. Having observed the opposition, I imagine Thancred had something to suggest. He did. He and the other scouts have already infiltrated a supply depot some distance beyond the Imperial Detachment's current position. Stored within is a stockpile of Magitek armaments, and once we give the signal, Thancred's team will destroy them all. In so doing, we will deprive frontline troops of materiel and likely force the detachment to send men to investigate. Divide and conquer. Not a bad idea. Once the scouts have finished their preparations, we will split into two groups. The first will form the vanguard, while the other brings up the rear with our supplies. Our 
As for the Scions, I ask that you lend your assistance where you deem it needed most. I would prefer, however, that you accompany the rearguard and be prepared to join the van at a moment's notice. Kept in reserve as our trump card, so to speak. Oh, well then. Your proposal was well received. More specifically, they asked that we destroy the Imperials' toys in as spectacular a fashion as possible. <laughs> yep, well then has dado más carne. Estola always did have a flair for the dramatic. She's not an easy woman to please, but I shall do my best to satisfy her thirst for fireworks. All right, once more for my peace of mind. Our first objective will be to rig the enemy's magitech with explosives. After we've withdrawn to a safe distance, we'll detonate them remotely. Our second will be to issue a deactivation command to the automated units via the control terminal. If our calculations are correct, this signal should reach those deployed on the front line, giving our friends a much needed <coughs> upper hand. The blizzard will help us stay hidden, so let's aim to get in and out before it passes. Trust in the plan. And we should all live to see tomorrow. In the meantime, I will relay messages back and forth as the situation unfolds. You'll forgive me if I ask again, but are you certain you wish to play the lone wolf? Wouldn't have it any other way. Call it foolish and reckless if you like, but I'll get the job done. I always do. Very well. I wish you the best of luck. Okay, so we are a self mission using gun trapping here. Okay. And trade awareness. This is really stealth mission. Okay. Bend steer, resistance. Yep. Ah, they gave us the tutorial. Okay, Swift Deception will be making us invisible. But if it's guard dogs, we'll be detected. Okay. Okay. Ah, civilization and sun takedown. Okay. We will the to distract the guard dog. Okay. Yep, that is basically all. What is this? Ah, okay, 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 okay. So to sort this solid barrel combo, yeah, the attack one, silent attack down. What is Nebula? Reduce the mistaken second. Ah, to defend. Okay. So basically, sweep deception to hide and take down the other to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. We can use this now. That's good though. That's nice actually. So we can use this for that one and we can use this for that one. Okay. Seven next one. 
Okay? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, let's try. Keep your wits about you. It's time. We only have one shot at this, so let's make it count. The song is good. Okay. Damn, ah. I see, I see, I see. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I understand, I understand, I understand. So that should be what we do. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Ah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Let's, let's try again after this. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay, they did not the aggro. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it. <laughs> yes. So we can basically uh what is it uh go go one time then go okay okay got it got it got it keep your wits about you it's time we only have one shot at this so let's make it count Ah, okay, 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 okay. After a silent cooldown, we cannot do that.
Okay. Ah, <laughs> we cannot take it down. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Just wondered if <laughs> they can. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, okay. So we need to distract them then Mouse, we can use this. Where to hide? I think we need to continue the way I live. Yeah, that. Ah, that's the hiding place. Okay, got it. This is Thancred. The explosives are in place. Very good. All is proceeding as planned. Head to the control tower. It should be to the northwest. Understood. Have the others wait at the rendezvous point. Okay. No 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 Uh let's hide
We need to go there. Yeah, that works. Yep, that's the one that I want. To, uh, I will do. I can set this. Okay, should be doable. Yeah, that's quite something, but yeah, let's just kill this one. Just wait one by one. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I know. I just want to clean this one first. Okay, go. Oh well, here, 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 here. Yeah. At least the dogs are incapacitated now. Should be okay. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Got it, got it.
Those are big. Let's see their pattern first. Ah, so it will move. Okay, <laughs> that's something. <laughs> yep, definitely. You are returned, and none the worse for wear, to my considerable relief. What news from our comrades? They stand at the ready. Excellent. Then let the fireworks begin. <laughs> okay, let's put this down. Let's see the next part. The blizzard's beginning to clear. The vanguard should be engaging the Imperials any moment now. If they haven't already. Ishtola and the others are with them, so I'm sure they'll be alright, but... <gasps> Wait! Something's coming! Looks like we ain't the only ones who sent out scouts. Keep them away from the carriages. We lose those, and we're as good as dead. Okay, so the old mechanics prevent them from destroying everything. Yes, our bird. Ah, uh, Emmanuel.
fine display, but the other carriages are still in danger. Oh, I love. We'll hold the line. <laughs> I love the there. We're the only ones still struggling. And as late. I love how they put the 3D uh, 3D sounds in here. I can hear. I can hear where the voice comes from. Yep, that one is very good. The new portrait for uh, who, who talks much more like visual novel now. Oh, another sky armor. Basically, DPS check. on the north you need us to go there okay then from the field was not a euphemism for enthusiastically murder <laughs> well it's nothing that won't heal in time uh Estinian. <laughs> the trouble is their tempering has made them utterly fearless subduing them would be easier if they had the capacity to submit in the first place well this is the path our young charges would have us walk and that we all agreed to follow you knew it would be hard, yet still you pledged your lance, did you not? That I did. Oh, delegatus. That's for Gilia. Damn it. I need to help the others take her down. There's no end to them. I was wondering when you'd turn up. 
So the boss fight then. There's no stopping us now. Come on. Let's show them what we're made of. The song is very good, Anas. We have them now. Forward. There's a lot. Let them have it. Here, here. That epic arrow is very good. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish up. Yes, 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 yes. I remember. That's nice. That's nice limit break, Pippin. You get Empress? Oh, everyone is here. Bombs away! Is everyone alright?
<laughs> That's a lot. Ah, sadu. Ritual that we need to prevent. <laughs> when we fought Sadu and Magnai that time. Oh, the worthy adversary. Rest, recover, reclaim yourself. Then we will fight again to the death. Ah, uh, yeah, Sadu. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sadu had tune. <laughs> oh, my guy. <laughs> what do you expect? That was the last of them. The day is ours, thanks to your timely arrival. What of the supply caravan? Hmm. Outmaneuvered, <laughs> but not outmatched. Good. Let us take the Imperials into custody and rejoin our comrades. And soon we shall arrive at the capital. That's really close. So cold and unforgiving, thus spoke Emperor Solus as he gazed upon his barren domain. Eight hundred years it had been since the Garleans first set foot here. Bested by the Kavorsi, after centuries of war and driven from fertile southern pastures into the blasted northern wastes. <laughs> yep, right. In that garden of desolation, they clung to one another for warmth, freezing, hungry, Desperate, hated. Oh, look at it. The chosen forsaken. In the year 1513 of the Sixth Astral Era, a young legatus named Solus single-handedly sparked the Magitech Revolution. You, you mean, you, Narrator. <laughs> uh. How did he conceive the machina that feed on Ceruleum? Once a common, soft-spoken soldier, how had he so quickly ascended through the ranks? Like so many others, those who knew the truth are gone. Taking in the capital with his eyes for the first time, I recall thinking to myself, far colder on the earth than in the heavens. Yes. Far colder indeed, bitterly so.
Not so much as a whisper. It's so quiet. The roads leading beyond the city walls would have been used less in recent years. Nevertheless, this was one of the most important gateways into the capital. A buzz day and night with activity, aye. Merchants passing through the checkpoint, many of them stopping at the local hostelries. Surely they cannot all have been tempered. We can consider the question after we have made camp. If we spend any longer outside, we may well freeze to death where we stand. The tempered Imperials, too. This will be our temporary base of operations. Secure shelter for ourselves and the injured, and dispatch scouts to survey the surrounding area. If we're planning on staying here a while, we ought to give this place a proper name. Hmm. Well, the constant sound of ice cracking underfoot makes me think of broken glass. An apt name, perhaps. But enough of this. To work, everyone. Broken glass. And there is an editor in here. Weirdly. Ah, so it connects to the locks directly. Using our quest. Okay. I can see that this is the place where we can do another errands and other things. <laughs> so for now, let me talk with all the NPCs around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is really, really, really cold up north. We have is guaranteed com contingents for this, definitely.
Okay, let's stop then. That's why you feel it's very bad in here. So they are in inside here. Okay, let's continue the story. Yeah, not not a lot of people brought por proxy here. <sighs> Our present situation is as follows. Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city. For therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Telophoroi's designs. I have a suggestion, if I may. Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Popularis and acquaintances of mine. Once we have cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's downfall. Yep, that should be a good one. A promising idea. I will assist the healers and their ministrations. Of course, I will require a proxy of my own, assuming you can spell. Would you like a hand? <laughs> Definitely. No, no, I am sure we will manage. Better that you take my place in the field. The noxious ether of this place disagrees with me, and as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it will be prudent for me to remain within the camp. This talk of curing the tempered is all well and good, but I reckon the cold is a more pressing concern. All the houses round here are fitted with ceruleum eaters that can keep us warm and toasty. Problem is, the machines seem to have given up the ghost, and if we keep sitting around, freezing our asses off, we'll be next. My smiths reckon that with the right parts, they can have them working again, but it won't be easy. Understood. The machinist will assist them in the repairs. The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. We've made our presence known to the Telophroi. They will be searching for us, if they have not already ascertained our position. That we have seen no sign of them since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. However, I suspect they may be biding their time. Or perhaps we are beneath their notice. In any event, we'll find no answers standing around here. Uriange, Estinian and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. Perhaps bolstered by a few Bosnian and Dalmaskian scouts from my previous excursion for good measure.
Don't forget about us Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Well now, this is turning out to be a rather sizable team. With such numbers, we should be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. How about you, Graha? I have a feeling we'll find a use or two for <laughs> that vanishing spell. Of <laughs> yep, that spell. <laughs> it would be my honor to be of service. Though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. Yeah, you can hide yourself. <laughs> that leaves us with guard duty. As a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphano. Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhine. I would have you search the area for survivors. Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. <laughs> ice fields! I love ice fields! Oh wait, no I don't. Uh, so good. <laughs> My extensive travels is something of an understatement, but I suppose if there is nothing else that it's doing, yeah, I prefer this. <laughs> ah, yes, understatement. We travel to a lot of places. This too is a vital task, <laughs> and I appreciate your willingness to see it done. Rest assured that a serving of hot soup will be waiting for you. <laughs> hot soup. You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the fury bless and keep you. Where are you? <laughs> well, hey, say before. That's something. Already four and some quests, etc. So I think that is the good time for me to stop this one because yeah, I think it's a good 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 place to end the stream because it's uh it seems to be the next part of this uh what is it next part of the chapter. The, the Garlemald area it's a good one actually for this stream for about two hours almost three hours <laughs> yeah I enjoy this stream honestly and the next part will be quite warrior of errors and exploration maybe a dungeon or two or story so yeah <laughs> Yeah, I think that should be all for me today, and I think we can end this stream now. Thank you all for watch, uh, help watching me and doing with me through this journey. And yeah, let's continue again later. I don't know if tomorrow I can do the stream, but yeah, let's see tomorrow for this. We'll do that later. Thank you, Salah. Thank you, Hyde, and thank you all who watch this. And yeah, my yeah, goodbye all. See you later, and have a good one ahead. Now, if only I can stop the stream. <laughs> As you saw, where is it? Where is the button? Where is the button? Ah, this. <laughs>